Hey, welcome to the channel. Uh, glad you're joining me. I know it's been a while since I posted a video and I wanted to uh, just touch base with you and let you know there's going to be a ton of content coming. I've got all kinds of footage in the can. Uh, a lot of things have happened since I posted my last video, which I think was right around Christmas. So uh, I, I want to tell you sort of what happened <laughs> between then and, and now. So um, Christmas, the week of Christmas, while at work, I contracted uh, COVID um, from a coworker and uh, went through Christmas Eve, had church over here at the house, and thankfully I wasn't contagious at that point. Uh, but the following Sunday, I started having symptoms and um, spent the, I guess, first... A uh, week and a half of the new year um, in my bedroom uh, I was quarantined and away from everyone um, overall uh, I, I did pretty well um, I didn't really I mean I worked through it so uh, I, I thankfully have a job that I could work through uh, doing um, online you know teams meetings and things like that so um, you know the first seven eight days uh, just a little bit of a cough uh, never really had a fever above like 99.4 which was still supposed to be good but I know for me that that's sort of warm so um, because he had told me he had been exposed his daughter had caught it at school and he had caught it I went and got checked and I also had it uh, and then probably you know so they say that there's sort of a little double dip with COVID and probably on the uh, let's call it ninth to tenth day. Um, uh, I started getting really, just really tired. So I'd, I'd work, <laughs> I'd be on a meeting. Uh, if I had an hour between meetings, I'd crawl in bed, take a nap, uh, get up, and, and carry on with the meeting. Um, but other than that, uh, no major uh, side effects. But here's the thing about COVID: everyone has their own COVID, um, and what I mean by that is everyone's COVID is a little bit different. So uh, it's different, but there's people who have like segments and parts that are the same as, as yours. So uh, one of the weird things that I had was, or have, I guess, although it's, it's decreasing, is uh, smelling uh, fake or phantom smells that, that just don't exist. And mine is cigarette smoke. I smell cigarette smoke all the time. So um, I ended up uh, getting vaccinated also. So I'm now fully vaccinated. Yeah, yes, I had COVID. Yes, I'm sure I had antibodies. Uh, and I had some people ask, well, why would you get vaccinated? And the reason is, is because I've uh, read some evidence that uh, people who had sort of some of these lingering effects of COVID, um, that they uh, that they went away with vaccination. So uh, I can tell you this, I don't smell smoke very often now. It's just very, very occasionally. And I'm into my first full week of being fully vaccinated, which means three weeks since my last vaccination. Um, so two weeks after is when you're considered fully uh, vaccinated. So I'm here in the backyard and uh, just, uh, you know, enjoying the weather. The weather has been, it has been very dry for Northwest Pennsylvania. Usually in spring, it's pretty, um, it's pretty, let's say, uh, wet, uh, chilly, warm, you know, just a sort of cycle of mud almost. Uh, this has been a very dry May and um, which has been good for getting some stuff done, uh, but we do need some rain. So hopefully, you know, it looks a little bit overcast, but then the sun peaks out, a little bit overcast, sun peaks out. So hopefully we'll we'll get uh, some rain. So uh, the, the key though, the thing that I wanted to update you on is you're gonna see uh, a lot of um, videos coming up. I've been busy with a lot of projects. Uh, I'm going to, I still have a lot of projects to do, a lot of uh, video uh, capturing to do and put together videos. Uh, but I've been struggling with, um, I've put together, I always put together way more uh, video than I actually end up um, using. And uh, I want to fix that. I want to remedy that. And I want to show you guys a lot of things. So I, I've got video in the can from years ago when my kids were smaller at our previous house that's homestead centered. I'm going to show those, but I I'll put a tag on the front, you know, that that's like, you know, a look back or something. Um, to, to help, you know, keep separated from sort of the, the stuff that we're doing currently. Uh, but we've got all kinds of things going on and I'm excited. There's there's a big, uh, something big in the works here for in the next couple of weeks. Uh, there'll be more on that. Um, but, you know, we're planting gardens. We're, we're uh, you know, refurbing grapevines, you know, we're, 
Uh, I'm gonna do a review. I just bought a Cub Cadet Zero Turn ZT2 60 inch. Uh, I'll do a, a, a little bit of a, a review on that. And uh, man, just a lot of stuff going uh, along here. We're busy doing a lot of different stuff. And in between uh, projects and building stuff and making it, uh, I've put together uh, uh, in in my garage, which I have a series coming up on that that I'll that I'll uh, look forward to sharing with you. I'm actually that's I'm just starting to really enjoy my garage. My garage is small, and it's uh, I want to get the most out of it because I've been thinking about buying a new garage. But if you know what lumber is like right now, it's uh, May of 2021. If you know what the lumber prices are. Um, you'll know why I'm maximizing the space that I have. Uh, and uh, last year I was looking at building the garage too and, and prices started going up because of COVID. And I was like, oh, I'll wait, next summer it'll be better. Not so much. So uh, other projects going on. I just wanted to catch everyone up. I'll throw a few things in here. Um, man, looking forward to some overlanding videos, uh, you know, getting out there with a the Jeep, doing some camping. Uh, my buddy just bought a Toyota, an old uh, 2002 uh, Toyota Tacoma uh, TRD, and uh, he I'll, I'll point you over to his page. He's been doing some stuff on it, and we're going to hit the trails. We're going to go out, and great thing about living in Allegheny National Forest area is we're going to get out into the National Forest. We're going to go up into New York. Um, looking forward to some fun stuff. So if uh, it seems like I haven't been around a, a lot, I've been really busy. Uh, and I've been, you know, I just, I don't know. I, the only, maybe one of the side effects of COVID was not putting together videos. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to look at that. But we're going to fix it. Because I'm vac vaccinated now, so I have to make videos. All right. And by the way, if uh, you're not vaccinated, I don't care. I'm just telling you when you ask where I've been and what I've done and that sort of thing, that's where I'm at. All right. God bless you. We'll talk to you later. Oh, I know something else that happened between Christmas and now. I turned 50. Holy smokes, how did that happen? I don't even know. I mean, seriously, how how do you turn 50? You're like 23 one day, and the next thing you're 50. Uh, I don't know, it's been good so far though. Um, I'm enjoying 50. I'm gonna rock this out. So, God bless you. Have a good day, night, wherever, whatever time it is in your part of the world. Thanks.